Hi, I'm Jariel, and I am NYC's Salsa Social Dancer of the Month. How I started dancing, well, I think is a typical uh, answer, female. So, uh, long story short, this female was, uh, I had a crush on her in high school, and um, she danced, so I wanted to spend some time with her, so I think, like any other guy, I saw she danced salsa, so I was like, well, I need to learn how to dance to, you know, spend some time with this girl. There was a lot of obstacles, a lot of hurdles, a lot of uh, false beliefs that I had to go and like face. But I think once that actually happened, it just made things a lot better. That one, um, all of them, they all played a major key. Um, so there's not one specific person that was like, it, I think every person just brought something very different to the table and helped me get to where I'm at today. I think this solo I have now is, is my first solo that I've ever done. Um, so doing a solo, it, it helps me express more of myself and who I am as a dancer. Um, as far as a uh, with a partner, I feel that that's where more of the creativity happens because it's your creativity, the other person, so you can't really be selfish. You have to think of both parties. And in the group, I feel that's like where you learn the most because it's a director and then you start learning how to work with different personalities. So I think they all play a, a very different key, but I think for me personally, um, I would have to say, me and a partner. Okay, you and a partner because you get to share that experience. Exactly. And you get to share the creativity. Exactly. I actually, I like to study the greats, like the Muhammad Ali's, the Mike Tyson's, like all these people and just, these are people that everyone looked at them like they were crazy. And then they became better than the art within itself. And then everybody jumped to the bandwagon. So I feel that creativity comes from being unique and having the whole world go against you until you prove them otherwise. <laughs> I, I might go a little deep, but let's, let's keep go it on deep, the surface. Go deep, go <laughs> deep. <laughs> um, I think definitely, um, I will start by saying, since the leads are in control of the tempo and, and the majority of what's happening during the dance, I think they should pay more attention to the follow since they have to follow, right? And um, because of the rules and regulations as to how the dance works, um, it's just catered more to the follow, right? They, you know, to guess the, for three to five minutes of a song is, is like really annoying. Like you don't get to enjoy it, you know, as to a follow is just in their head and just popping these random you know, turn patterns or, or certain things that some people try to lead that they haven't ex fully experienced or mastered and then they try to use the follows like test dummies. So I think it's more of being being open and, and letting that person express themselves the same way they're trying to express themselves. Okay, so pretty much um, you think that you need to engage the follow, not only do all these turn patterns, but it should be something that you both enjoy. Right. I think it's just when it boils down is it's it's an actual connection it's not it's not just dancing and doing turn patterns because you learn the turn learn how to express yourself through these turn patterns or footwork so the other person can reciprocate and have that connection either sports or I'll be in the field of dealing with like working with cars or engineering cars or something like that okay yeah. um when you say like cars you like fixing cars i love every asset like i okay. i'm like crazy about cars so it's uh whether it's building cars fixing cars creating cars 
Um, I just love cars. And well, sports, I've, I've always been into sports my whole entire life. Uh, an accident brought me into salsa dancing besides that girl. It's, it's an interesting question. Um, I like to divide both. I don't, I don't want to go into my personal life bringing in my dance life and vice versa. Like I, I just feel that it's, it's just two different things and you know, some people understand it, most don't. So it's like, as a, as a dancer, there's certain things you have to respect and certain things you have to give. But as personal life, that's, that's personal, you know? So I think that's where everything has to just be like, all right, I'm home, I wanna be my, I want to be my vulnerable self where I'm not being judged or ridiculed of how I express myself by myself, right? As a dancer, that I, that's just me doing what I do. I've studied very hard and done my thing there, so this is what it is. And I love to inspire, so that's my platform to do so. But when I'm on personal, it's personal. Oh, <laughs> homebody. Homebody, okay. okay. <laughs> like it's it's just uh, it takes it takes a lot a lot of hard work to to try to make it as a dancer, you know. And I think most people don't understand that they have this idea of what it is to dance. Um, just to even get on stage, you know, it's it's the the hours you put in, the frustrations, you know finding the music, finding someone who, who connects with you, finding somebody who has the same vision, like all these things play a major key. It's not just, I love dancing, let me dance. There's just so much components that have to be aligned and, and if they aren't, just the slightest one thing that doesn't check the box, it just, eventually, it'll, it's like a cancer, it'll eat up everything else and it just doesn't work. So to find that, that ace that connects with you, that's really where where it becomes difficult so personal you deal with so much of that then it's just like ah uh, no practice no traveling you know what i just want to relax maybe uh you know go to a movie theater like you know like there's just a lot of things that dancers don't get to experience because most of their days from morning to night it's it's all about investing into dance dancing training you guys sacrifice a lot a lot yes uh, I'm very respectful to all the dancers because <laughs> I know you guys put in a lot of hours. Thank you. Very huge process because, um, again, dance is a, is a freedom of expression, right? Um, but also there's that unwritten rule where you don't want to use a song that's been used already because you want to be original, you know? I really don't dabble into that, I feel like, if you have your own unique expression, you can use any song that's been used because you're doing you. Um, but most people have this unwritten rule where it's like, this person used this song, that's a disrespect if you use that song. And it's like, gen really on the reality side, it's like an artist created that song for everybody to enjoy. Yeah. So for me, it's just like, I like a song, I'm gonna use it. I don't care what other people say, but when you deal with dancers, that can be a problem. So, um, so yeah, so um, it, it, the process is to find that one song that no one really uses, because in today's era, there's not really uh, much new salsa music coming out, so you have to kind of recycle things that have been used or really know a DJ that has some underground, underground, underground music yes. <laughs> that's not going to like overcharge you for a song that he has in his collection. Um, you gotta hear the song for days and days and you know the music has to inspire you or at least I'll speak for myself I have to be inspired by the music and just constantly hear it over and over and over and over until I kind of almost memorize the whole song uh, not just the lyrics but the hits the melody you know and then figure out what I don't need or what I don't want in the song. Once you put it together, now you hear it again and see how it sounds. And then from there, just start 
letting your mind do the rest of the work. Just being creative, like not holding back. And I think that's the hardest part because you're also thinking of the audience. You have to entertain, you have to give people a show. So to just do you, not everybody might agree or like what you do. So you have to also figure out what would a general public like in a routine. And so it, it's a lot of thinking that goes along to kind of execute a really good routine. For me, um, I like to use dance as it's a vocabulary. It's a vocabulary that you, there's just certain things you can't say because you can't just find those words. So it's that actions speak louder than words. Like to me, dance is that platform where the things you can't verbally say, you actually say it through your expression through dance. Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you. For doing this interview, we truly appreciate you. My pleasure was mine. Thank you.